Hi, I'm Anne Marie Shears. I'm the Vice President for Patient Care Services, Chief Nursing Officer here at Rawway, and I'm really happy to be celebrating Nurses Week with a fabulous staff. Our nurses contribute so much to patient care. It is a pleasure being around them. I became a nurse probably because my mom um, is a nurse and she really inspired me. It's my love for being with people and helping them reach their optimal potential that really kind of struck me and wanted and I kind of had a calling to help other people to do what to help them become the best that they can be. But I think most importantly to me in my role, very on early on in my career, I recognized the need to support nurses. I think our nurses contribute so much to the patient population that somebody has to look after them. And truly, that's my role, making sure they have the supplies and equipment that they need, that there's a, a voice so that they can be heard, so that they too can do the best that they can do for their patients. And I think here at Rowway, we have an excellent group of nurses who do just that. I am really very, very proud to be part of the team, and I look forward to another productive year um, here with the staff. Thanks so much. I decided to go to nursing school when I was 27 years old after I lost my father to pancreatic cancer. Um, nursing is my second career and it was something that I always wanted to do but never thought that I could and it wasn't until my father passed away that I was able to make the decision to go back to nursing school. I was inspired to be a nurse because I wanted to have a job that made a difference in people's lives and I wanted to help people. I chose to become a nurse um, because I love the diversity of it, that there's no day is the same, um, and mainly because I truly enjoy helping other people. My mother inspired me to be a nurse. She says I was a caring individual. My mother and I were very close, and she felt that this was something that I can do, considering I really didn't know what to do with my life when I was in high school. Since I was eight years old, I always I knew I, had, I was going to be a nurse. I always felt in my heart I would go around the neighborhood, help these elderly people, do errands, do chores. I would sit and talk with elderly people. I became a nurse to take care of premature babies, and I wound up taking care of adult patients instead, and I love it. I became a nurse because a lot of people in my family are nurses. But then now I began to like it. I always felt the innate passion to help people um, when they were in the most need of assistance. Um, so I always ran towards why everyone ran away. Um, and that still happens to this day. So. I became a nurse because my best friend growing up wanted to be a nurse. So we decided to go to college together, take nursing courses, and become nurses. Only she didn't become a nurse, I did, and I just can't imagine doing it. The reason why I became a nurse is I would like to help people, and um, I like people, like to talk. My mother always told me that you, you can help people by just becoming a nurse, and uh, I became a nurse, and I don't think I can do anything other than a nurse. What inspired me to become a nurse is the classmates of mine in school of nursing school. I wasn't really so sure about it in the beginning, but it was the passion of my classmates as well as my instructors that really 
instilled in me my own passion for nursing. My inspiration to be in a nurse, um, I was the oldest of four children, so automatically I was a caregiver for my younger siblings. We also had a mother who had a lot of mental problems who um, I helped care for and who died when I was 20. So that prompted me to continue in my nursing field. <laughs> What inspired me to be a nurse is probably way back in high school, I became a junior volunteer candy striper in my local hospital in Queens, and by the time I graduated, I couldn't imagine doing anything else but working in a hospital, being a nurse. Ever since I was a little girl, and as close as I was to my dad, my dad was a volunteer for the rescue squad in the town that we lived. And he used to come home and tell us all the stories of how he saved everybody, saved people's lives in emergencies and, and when they were at their sickest. And I think that in my heart, I had always remembered that that's why I wanted to be a nurse. Well, 2015 commemorates my 30 years in nursing, but I've been a nurse since I'm um, eight years old. My mother is also a nurse, and she always had me draw get well pictures for patients who had no families or visitors. Uh, I also shared a bedroom for 17 years with my great aunt, Catherine, who is chronically mentally ill and physically disabled. She's my inspiration for being a psychiatric nurse. I wanted to be a nurse since I was little. I dressed up every year for Halloween as a nurse. My mom was a nurse. I knew I wanted to help people. I originally was going to become a doctor and changed my mind to become a nurse because I wanted to be at the bedside helping people uh, in my nursing rotation. I knew I wanted to do psychiatry. I really forgot why I took up nursing, but after 26 years and why I stayed, stayed in nursing is that when you see patient comes in to the hospital, they're very sick and when you see them leave the hospital, um, very well and to join their family. It's a fulfilling, it's a very much fulfilling. Um. The reason I became a nurse is because when I was five years old, I was sick with pneumonia and I was admitted to Rawway Hospital and the nurse had to give me enemas. So when she put me on the bedpan and told me to call her after I was done on the bedpan, I rang the call bell and I rang it and I screamed for her and she never came and I said that was it. When I get big, I'm going to become a nurse so I can take people off the bed now. We care! Give comfort! Okay, I became a nurse when my brother died at the age of 17. He went to school for a day before his graduation. He fell. They didn't know what was wrong. He went to the hospital. Um, my country is a third world country, so we didn't have like all the machines here to do CAT scans and MRIs. And so the next day he died, and he was the person that took care of me when I was younger because I usually have asthma. So when he died, I told my, I told him, I promised him in the bed that I would make sure I'd be something to find out what was wrong with him because nobody could not tell what's wrong with him. I wanted to be a doctor, but financially I couldn't, and I decided to go to nursing school. So I went to nursing school, and what? who inspired me to continue being a nurse was my professor, Mrs. Swift. She told me I have the tact, I have the caring to become a nurse. And she was the one that guided me and helped me. And since then I have been a nurse, going to 27 years of being a nurse. In my, in my country it was 20 years and the rest I've been here in U USA. I was inspired to be a nurse uh, when I was 16 years old. I found out my father was diagnosed with liver cancer. Uh, and afterwards, my brother was in a horrific car accident, which caused him to uh, sustain third-degree burns over 68% of his body. So we spent quite a few months in the burn ICU at St. Barnabas. And uh, I decided that I wanted to uh, help families and patients through the illness uh, and dying process. Uh, my brother survived, my father did not. Um, and I decided I wanted to help relieve suffering. What inspired me to be a nurse? I think it's my parents. It's either to be a doctor or to be a nurse. And they said, I'm good with people, so I chose to be a nurse. There's nothing in particular that inspired me to be a nurse. My entire family is in business. My sister, my brother-in-law, myself, and my husband are in business. Um, but now we're all nurses. It must have been genetic. Um, nothing will make me go back to business, not even the tons of money that I made when I was there. I love my job, I love taking care of people.